Hello, my name is Dr. Chen Yi Ming, Medical Director of Vital Care Family Clinic and founder of Fidivate.com. Welcome to our latest episode of Medical Videos for Education. And uh, this time around, we're going to talk about a topic that is some close to the heart of a lot of our young parents and new parents, and that will be food allergy in infants and young children. Okay, so carry on and watch the video to learn more. It is an abnormal response of the body to a certain type of food resulting in a manifestation of a spectrum of clinical response uh, ranging from mildly itchy rash to a severe allergic reaction that potentially can be deadly or fatal. It is not an uncommon condition. Uh, statistics is, uh, shows that about 5-6% to of infants under 1 year of age has food allergy and about 3-4% to of children under 5 years old has food allergy as well. Well, about 80-90% to of all food allergies are caused by this 8 type of food, namely eggs, wheat, soil, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, and milk. Of which the most, the type of food that cause the most severe allergic reactions would be the nuts, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Well, to answer that question, um, there's a good news component and there's a bad news component. The good news is if you're allergic to wheat, soil, egg and milk, you tend to be able to outgrow them. Two thirds of young children who are allergic to egg tend to outgrow them. 80% of children who are allergic to milk, soil, wheat tend to outgrow them by the age of five years old. The bad news is that if you're allergic to nuts, peanuts, shellfish and fish, um, unfortunately you tend to be allergic to them forever, lifelong. So um, what are the symptoms and the manifestations of food allergy? It could range um, very widely from person to person and depending on what food you're allergic to. So some of the common manifestations of allergies includes uh, you can have swelling of eyes, you can have itchy and runny teary eyes, you could have runny nose, you could have swollen lips, itchy tingling sensation of the lips, back of the throat, tightness felt in the throat, swelling of the throat, hoarseness of voice, uh, bronchospasm of the airway resulting in wheezing, stridor, and in other aspects, uh, sometimes even diarrhea, vomiting, severe cases, hypotension, cardiovascular collapse, and even death. Okay, so in infants, um, the very first type of food that they may become allergic to is usually milk. Because milk is the first food type that you're exposed to apart from breast milk. Um, how do they usually present if there is a suspicion of milk allergy? The child may be suddenly become very fussy. Uh, they may be crying more. They may be uh, having difficulty sleeping, uh, hard to comfort, likely because of abdominal discomfort, bloatedness. They may also even have diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, and poor growth in a sense that their height and weight uh, do not increase proportionate to the percentile chart. So if any of this uh, appears, please uh, be suspicious and uh, see your doctor. So, I mean, if you do have a milk allergy in a young infant, what are the things that you can do? Of course, we can, if, if the mother 
um, is, is able to produce more breast milk um, of course that will be ideal and you should ideally breastfeed your child from 6 months to 12 months and perhaps even beyond 12 months uh, if physically possible um, options of replacement would include soy milk and hypoallergenic formulas which are available in the market so um, I think the first thing usually is the suspicion of a food allergy because if the parents realize that whenever they feed a child with a particular type of food uh, a particular response is often uh, often developed okay when you have a suspicion then please see a doctor and get referred to an allergist um, the definitive diagnosis is made through a, a combination of a careful history taking demonstrating the temporal relationship between uh, taking of the food items and the allergic response how much the food has been taken and uh, following which the allergist may go on to perform some tests to confirm the diagnosis and the suspicion one of which is a skin prick test a skin prick test is when a uh, extract of the food allergen is being placed onto the forearm or the back of the child uh, and waiting to see if an allergic response happens sometimes they could also do a blood test called the IgE blood test uh, which can rise in response to the intake of the food that they are allergic to there's also a test called a food challenge test um, this may be an option where the allergist may want to order this test uh, to decide if the child is has already outgrown the food allergy at a later date so to prevent or to delay the onset of food allergy um, I think the first thing is to try to breastfeed your child for as long as possible um, secondly considering providing solid food for the child only after six months of age and when you are actually starting on the solid feeding you could try your best to avoid food particularly nuts peanuts tree nuts fish shellfish eggs right so by doing all this um, you are actually delaying the onset of allergic symptoms in the child why is that important uh, of course if an allergic reaction happened to a very young child the reactions are harder to treat and sometimes uh, it may pose a more serious health threats in a very young and vulnerable child as compared to a child that's slightly older so how do we treat food allergy um, the first step is always the avoidance of food that you are allergic to and that involves achieving a formal diagnosis so by knowing what you're allergic to you can avoid it um, and parents must always read the food labels properly to ensure that the items that your child is allergic to do not appear uh, in the labels of the food products in the event that you accidentally took the food product um, I think the first thing is to quickly bring your child to see a medical doctor uh, because along the way the child may already start to present with the allergic symptoms if the allergic response is mild what the doctor can do usually is to prescribe antihistamines like your Zyrtec, Cetirizine, Telfast, Loretidine uh, sometimes if his uh, response is moderate you can also start some steroids in some situations where we know that the allergic response is severe or it can cause anaphylaxis the allergies may prescribe EpiPens for the parents to hold on and usually they will prescribe uh, a pair such that uh, if one is insufficient you can continue to jab the second one for the child and if it's a severe reaction apart from just jabbing the EpiPen uh, it would be best to call 995 so that uh, the child can be transferred to the hospital or the emergency department for more um, prolonged observation and continual treatment because sometimes the allergy can last more than 24 hours 
sometimes 48 hours or longer. That's it for this episode of Medical Videos by Vitacare Family Clinic. I hope you learned something from this. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button to receive updates on new videos. Please also check out the rest of our productions. If you have any topics you would like us to talk about, reach out to us via Facebook, WhatsApp or website. Thank you. Till the next time.